Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Yes, so much new here this season as it kicks off tonight. But we've got to talk about the Kentucky Derby because Jeff Midday here joins me now. This is such a big day for you guys tomorrow. This really is our you know, opening weekend is always huge, but Kentucky Derby added to that mix makes it even larger. Last year we opened on Derby Day, 20,000 people were here. We expect at least that many and probably more tomorrow. And you've got the track ready after all that snow you had. we had a few weeks ago. It was a long dig out. We, we finally got the original snow off and then we had that blizzard, of course. We had to, to rent some large snow blowers to clear the track, but we got it done. We started training about a week and a half ago. There are nearly a thousand horses here in the backside so all systems are go for racing. Yeah that's great so tell us exactly what's kind of going on tomorrow some of the events you have here. Well for Derby Day you know, the gates will open at 8 o'clock because we simulcast Churchill Downs the home of the Kentucky Derby they start racing at 9 30. Our live program starts at 12 45 so people can come out whenever they want. The Kentucky Derby which airs on your network is at mm -hmm. 550 so it's gonna be a long day of racing but we've got 10 live races with two nice stakes races uh, on the card so There'll be eight races before the Derby, two races after the Derby. Come on out and make a day of it. Yeah, really. plenty to see, and it should be great weather out there as it, well. Absolutely, and people are going to get dressed up. The Der Derby Day is unlike any other day at the racetrack because you get a lot of your real casual fans that want to come out. They dress up, I mean, to the nines. We're talking mm -hmm. you know, dresses and bow ties and big hats and the whole Derby attire. Grab a mint julep, do some wagering. And if you happen to pick the Derby winner, you can live on that the rest of the year, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's talk about what's new. This bar being one of the new additions here. I think we're the first ones maybe to have a beer at this yeah, bar. Right. This, and, uh, and we're actually debuting uh, tonight. This is the first time this post-time peach ale, which is a collaboration with Badger Hill, just down the street here mm -hmm. in River South and Shakopee, is going to be available. So that people are clamoring for this, but this bar is, near, is new, the Bud uh, Beer Gardens. We've also remodeled the entire north end of our grandstand. So new mutual islands, we've got a uh, new what we call track snack, which serves that traditional fare that you find at a stadium. Summit Stables, another great uh, beer vendor of ours, has remodeled their area as well. So people are going to come in, they're going to see some things that they really like. We've modernized it. The track's been open since 1985, and uh, it was time for a little bit of a facelift on this level. I think people are really going to enjoy it. Well, great. Well, congrats to you guys. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We're